Hi everyone, so today we're going to examine what is or what makes a fast growing function and this video is basically a follow-up of my previous video what's the uh, or is this the fastest growing function by Ron Graham and I have a lot of comments and even some negative comments uh, from the video so in this video I'm going to try to put together all the comments um this is not the actual may not be the actual definition but this is what i got from the comments so first of all most people said that in order to be a fast growing function um the function of course let's say fn has to be growing for all finite input n so let's say the input is n then uh each input you know n is say let's say finite or the, uh, a positive integer, it has to be growing for all finite n. So basically, let's say, this is one example here. So let's say f0 is 0, f1 is 1, f2 is 2, f3 is 3, uh, etc. Um, each increasing n, uh, the output has to be increasing. It cannot be the same or decrease, something like that. So in other words, um, f0 is smaller than f1, smaller than f2, which is smaller than f3, etc., and etc. So, therefore, f of k minus 1 has to be smaller than fk for all finite k. So, that's one of the important definitions for the fast, for a uh, fast going function. So, in other words, um, for the function that I introduced in my last video, it doesn't quite meet the definition. So, in this case, this is kind of you know what i told you last time um is not actually increasing even though let's say let's say uh, i have two different variants of the function in this case f4 there's no answer so it basically it stops here so it's not increasing uh another variant is you know let's say f4 is infinity and then f or g5 g4 is infinity g5 is infinity g6 is also infinity in that case is not it's kind of stopped growing because infinity equals infinity in this case so it's not actually growing um so that's the first reason why this is not a fast growing function or not even a function something like that and then the second point is that for all finite input n the output let's say k uh, has to be finite and cannot be undefined or no answer um, so let's say again, using that example again, let's say if, if G4 is infinity and then G5, G6, they are infinity, then it doesn't count because for all finite input, the output has to be finite as well. Um, you cannot just have infinity. Um, I think most people agree with that for some reason. Um, if not, you know, if, if the, if the output is infinite or some, some undefined thing, then it cannot be a a fast growing function um, and then um, the third point is that you know the function has to be re representable by the fast growing hierarchy so if it's not representable or you know if it cannot be measured by the fast growing hierarchy kind of you know um, not satisfying you know is not a fast growing function this is I mean a few people represent I mean um, kind of suggest that but I'm not sure I guess it's debatable because for some functions such as rail function or even BCP for some people argue that is not quite representable, at least not fully representable or measurable by the fast-going hierarchy, especially rails function. Uh, rails function is actually, you know, it, there's two groups. One group set is ill-defined, the other group set is well-defined, and actually there's a third group set is just uh, in a gray area, you know, is halfly well defined, not fully well defined. So in this case, even Rayo's function is not a fast growing function. But I don't know. This is just the comments by the um, from the last video. This is not the definite definition for a fast growing function. I don't think I can find anything about that in the Googleology wiki as well. Uh, and then one last thing is that uh, there's a commenter. He actually uh, suggested. Uh, another, you know, function, which is not actually a function, you know, by these three points, uh, which has a similar growth rate as this one that I suggest in my last videos. Uh, so he suggests that this function fn, uh, what does it mean is that uh, it's basically the number of additions needed to reach n itself. And it has to follow this pattern over here, or this formula. So fn is basically... Um, 
you know, one plus one half plus one fourth plus one eighth plus one sixteen, etc., and etc. So basically, one over two to the power of n minus one. This is the pattern um, forever. It, you know, so basically, in this case, f one is one because in order to reach n, in this case, is one. You need just one term, which is the first term, one over here, and then f two is infinity already um, because you need an infinite number of terms to reach two. And for F3, actually, is undefined on no answer because it doesn't matter because this thing actually converges to um, to the number two, this series, this infinite series. Uh, you cannot reach more than two. So therefore, F3 is undefined because you cannot reach three. Um, so in this case, you know, um, kind of similar to this one, you know, it, it, it's... You know, at first it looks like it grows very fast. F1 is 1, F2 is already infinity. But F3 again is undefined, no answer. Um, I mean, this is not really a fast growing function in that case, but you know, he actually, someone's, you know, successfully suggests something similar to this. Um, so, anyway, again, feel free to leave any comments or section what makes a fast growing function. So, anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.